why GTA 6 has me concerned. Let's do some therapy right now. Like the video. Let's go for two likes. Let's I'm hear it. concerned uh -oh. about GTA 6. Oh, damn, Here's the son. thing. I've already seen people that are arguing against people like me in YouTube comments and Reddit threads and etc. So let's just get this out of the way right now. I do not see having a female protagonist in GTA as a bad thing. Yeah! We don't want strong independent. Now, honestly, though, jokes aside, though, I think female character is fine. It's just, it's just that people are afraid that they're gonna emasculate Jason. That's the biggest. It's just issue childish right now. and stupid. You might be wondering, what makes you think, Vex, that this game is going woke? Well, it is. And I have a lot of backing in this video to show you otherwise. In fact, GTA 5 itself has gone woke over the years. Yeah, and oh a lot no. of players oh, haven't noticed. They just haven't noticed. They haven't paid attention. Uh, guys, do not watch. Don't watch the following if you... <laughs> because this man is going to ruin the image for you. Uh, I'll say this. If GTA 6 turns out to be bad, I'm going to become a monk and settle myself on a mountain in Tibet on December 32nd of that year, okay? Because players in 2024 are too busy yelling at Rockstar about the Mark II oppressor to not realize that the game has completely changed in front of them from the time that they've purchased it until now for the worse. Oh, no. So the first thing that we're going to address, uh -oh. why was the Confederate flag removed from the game? I understand that the Confederate flag has bad history within the United States, but why are we changing real American history I personally don't know anything about it on this one specifically. If any of you know like what that flag uh, actually means, let me know in the comments. Damn. I already know there's going to be people Wait in my comment it. section typing away. This isn't a big deal. This isn't a big problem. It's just a flag. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> what you don't understand is that um, this is censorship. This, th that is what this is. This is censorship. When they are removing items from the game that could be deemed huh? offensive to people... It this is censorship. is censorship. Yeah. In all the original GTA games, what made them so good was the over-the-top, super offensive, crazy stuff that you were able to do oh, damn, in the game. Huh? Sure as shit are one dumb, ignorant, white trash, hillbilly, Wallace. <laughs> You're damn right. GTA has never yeah! once cared about offending people ever in the history of ever so why are we starting Damn. now a perfect example of this is the character yusuf amir now if you guys had played gta 4 you guys already know oh, it's that guy that would say the n-word right and then uh and now like in the new one they, they he does not say the n-word bruh is that yeah i yeah, i heard about it yeah twitter tw people uh people were talking about it on twitter oh what they did to his character in gta 5 i want it Come on, baby, you and me, doing our tank thing, just rolling like some desert storm niggas. <laughs> Ooh, yeah. Chinese person. Bye bye, yeah. nigga. Oh, jeez, who's this? What's up? What are you saying, my big boy? Listen. Bye bye, nigga. Oh, jeez, who's this? What's up, my nigga? Oh, did he just say that? <laughs> Damn. That uh, and GTA 4 came out in 2008, right? Yo, nigga. Yo, yo, yo. There you are, my homie. Ya Allah fucking A. Hope you don't mind. We let ourselves in. But Yusuf Amir in the house. I am fine. Fine. Look, look. Everything's perfect. Damn. Actually, fully intentional. They nerfed my boy. And a lot of people are worried that they're gonna be nerfing the Burna, the Lucia Burna. Uh, they're gonna emasculate Jason as well. <laughs> Yo, if these seconds actually emasculate Jason and turn it turn him into day damn bro like I swear to god man come on dog why why y'all doing that bro like yeah, but okay on this one I need I need I'm brown personally right like I'm not white I'm not black I'm white any of my black homies watching the video I want to know I, I want to hear your perspective on this one business first very good let me be the first to congratulate you on all this, all this, wallahi, is the good shot. Wallahi. For real, he's a... Look at the mask of my boy. The whole point of Yusuf Amir's character is that he is a billionaire money raised child 
basically a grown man child who has no experience with speaking to minorities, who's basically lived in a glass ivory penthouse tower his entire life. That is the whole purpose of his character is that he is misinformed on yeah. how to properly speak to regular people. He's like an oil prince, people. right? That is what made his character so good is that yeah. he was funny because he was so ignorant. And, and you go well. and you ruin this for an agenda. Why? They completely changed Yusuf Amir's character to an entirely different person because it was deemed offensive. Yeah. They did it again with Gay Tony. Why are we now calling him Tony? His name That's is Gay lot. Tony. It has always been Gay Tony. Yeah. In GTA 4, the name of his game was the ballad of Gay Tony. Why are we changing his name? Now, I'm sure a lot of you guys didn't even know this, but at one point in GTA 5, there was transgender people. Yeah! And Okay, so uh, did they remove him or multiplied? Uh, I'm I'm assuming they would have multiplied, right? Because like the the reason they're like watering down is to please that please the the, the Wookies, right? And there were drag queens in GTA Five. Wait, what? 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 Transgender people, and there were drag queens in GTA Five. Why would you not know this? Because Rockstar removed them. Oh damn! Players they them too. were making videos of themselves killing these characters. And posting oh. them on things like Twitter, Instagram, and etc. And Rockstar deemed it offensive and didn't want bad press for the game. So they oh, removed them okay. from the game. This is censorship. This game is for mature adults. You need to be 17 to 18 years old, depending on where you live. Yeah, I think, okay, listen. Like, we talked about it numerous, tri uh, numerous times previously as well. If you really, really think that GTA 6 is not going to be woke... Like, come on, guys. Like, that's Delusion 101. Like, you're delusional. I'm sorry to say... I I'm saying this respectfully, right? Because GTA 6 is surely gonna be woke. Listen, I know it. Deep down, you know it as well. This is why you're trying to say, No, it's not gonna be me. Skizzle, it's not gonna be... Or you're typing this comment on other videos as well that it's not gonna be. Guys, it will be. You know it. I know it. It will be. Now, the question here is this, that how much is it gonna be? Is it gonna be too much woke? It's too little woke? Uh, or they're gonna find like a balance. Some of you will say that skizzle, there's no balance, man. Like, make a good damn game. Don't censor it and don't wokeify the game. I agree. In a perfect world, this is what we want. We want a true story, true narrative. We want a good, fun game. And we want a GTA game, damn it. Like, you know, don't uh, don't they always come out with a new GTA game after every generation? Uh, when I say generation, I mean like. Uh, 12 years give or take right like they, they're they're gonna be releasing their new gta game 12 years after gta gta 5 it is absolutely wild we're gonna keep on this one check let's check it out uh what the homie has to say but i also have a ufo channel guys this is where i upload ufos and conspiracies every single day and the pentagon has revealed some new information about the aliens oh, shit. so oh, definitely shit. check check it out subscribe i also have a twitter here this is my ex twitter if you are you if you use twitter or x uh, feel free to follow links are in the comments below i would love to have you there man to buy this game so why are we pandering as if the censorship was not bad enough when they brought back the original gta trilogy remastered they completely changed cutscenes and removed logos from characters so for example phil cassidy the whole point of his character is that he is a stupid inbred white trash hillbilly redneck that is the uh, and now i'm assuming he would be like 500 iq <laughs> they must have given him 500 iq whole point of this character she's my sister i saw her first and this character is not racist. He is friends with Vic Vance. Vic Vance is an African-American male. This character is not racist, Bruh. but he is an ignorant American hillbilly. So why are we removing the Confederate flag off of his shirt? It is a part of his character. He is supposed to be stupid. He is supposed to be this dumb Damn. American. So yeah. why are we now changing him. Yeah, these suckers gave him like the Stone Cold Steve Austin uh, shirt there, kind of. His character. And I already know there's people, Vex, it's just a t-shirt, it's just a t-shirt. People like you are the problem. You guys are the problem. This game is for adults. You should not be censoring anything at all. 
So for uh, those of- uh, 100%, I do agree. And I feel like that a lot of people uh, agree with you too, Wex. It's, it's just that a lot of people are like uh, not viewing that as like a bigger problem or issue per se. But they certainly do. And nobody wants like a watered down game. Let's actually, uh, you know, settle that down. I, I agree with you. I agree with you fully, homie. But it's just that I feel like that people got their own problems in their life. They got bigger problems, bigger things to deal with. So when they see like a shirt change, they're like, oh, whatever. Like, I'm not going to get mad and uh, and i feel like that a lot of people just didn't even realize that you know that shirt change and the flag change for example for me i a, a lot of people the reason i realized is because people were talking about it you're talking about it fine right fear i realize uh on on twitter and also uh, i like i said earlier i do not know about that confederate flag no disrespect though or respectfully just uh, listen i don't even know about it i don't even know anything apparently you mentioned there's something to do with racism or anything i i'm i'm ignorant on it so uh if you know about it definitely let me know in the comments below so when i say that i do know for the fact that there are there are a lot of people out there that surely do not know what's up with that flag i'm certain like people watching this video some of them probably gonna know some of them probably not gonna know just like me so it's like people got their issues and you know it's one of those things that those of you that don't know in gta vice city there are two gangs that you go up against one of them is called the cuban gang the cubans is just that they are cubans that's that's their name the cuban oh, gang huh? the other gang is the haitian gang that is their name the haitian gang it is not because any Jamaican homie like Bumble Bumble Club. Club. Yeah, I want that Bumble Club homie but from that uh, from the GTA 4 bro. Because they are from Haiti or because their members are black. The name of the gang is the Haitian gang. I'm going to play you two cutscenes here. Tell uh -oh. me if you uh -oh. think that this is acceptable. Uh -oh. Hey Nate, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna kill me a Haitian. And then, and then I'm going to make love like a man. You know that Chica? Hey! <laughs> hey, ladies! You know what I'm gonna do? I'm going to make love like a man. You know uh -oh. that, Chica? You go and get us a little Haitian car. When you get it, come back and pick up my boy, Pepe. And take them out to the Haitians. Uh oh! Then, you go around to the Haitians' processing plant. And you use their solvent as an explosive. Boo! You go and get us a little car. When you get it, come back and pick up my boy, Pepe. And take them out to such and such, their processing plant. Whatever you say, Humberto. Hey, Tommy, Tommy, use their solvent as an explosive. Boo! In the cutscene, he says, go to do such and such. What, literally, what does that mean? Rockstar completely destroyed this cutscene, completely ruined it to the point where if you did not play the original trilogy and you played the re-release, you would have no idea what's going on just from this cutscene alone in nah, the gta see, franchise we are not playing as lgbt i i see the point that he's making and, and i absolutely 100 percent agree like i'm against watering down don't censor it do not give up to the sweet baby ink and crap like that but guys like uh how do you feel about all this qia supporting children's hospital donating friendly faces okay we are playing as scumbags okay the criminal underworld okay the dirt the the worst of the worst in the united states so bro like you saying that some criminal watching this video will also get offended just saying why are we making things in these games more child friendly children are not even supposed to be playing this game in the first place i agree now. Obviously. Uh, and a couple of weeks ago, or I should say like three months ago, yeah, it's been three months, holy crap, right? When they first revealed the GTA 6 trailer, and when they re officially revealed that Lucia Bruna to the world, a lot of people, not a lot of people, uh, yeah, a lot of people actually, this is facts, but the ratio is still very small. When I say a lot of people, I mean a lot of the Wookiees and a lot of the journalists, they tried to cancel the game. They are still demanding, cancel the GTA 6. They shouldn't, kids should not be playing. And we agree, this game is not for the kids. Had it been that GTA 6 was actually, you know, targeting kids, then I would also be like, okay, well, fair. You know, that's a fair point. I must still play it because I'm not a kid. But like uh, the fair point, I do agree that kids should not play. And I still agree, kids should not be playing this game, right? I mean, I was, it's a different thing. How many of you guys actually played San Andreas as a kid though? You know what I'm saying? Saying, like I, I did and i would have a controller in hand every time every time i load up san andreas and there's like a hot chick on the screen mama would enter 
<laughs> yeah, I'm saying whenever there's like uh, no hot chick, nobody would be around, and I would be like, <laughs> I would be look looking both ways, uh, just like scared, like bro, like I I just wanna get get inside the game. I wanna do like a, I wanna uh, cheat codes. Uh, I wanna uh, use cheat codes. I just want me a jetpack for for God's sakes, bro. Like that's that's all what I'm doing, man. That's all what I'm simple, bro. That's all what I want. But then there would be a chick with mommy milkers hanging out. Mama would enter my room though, and then it's like, bro. You you feel what I'm saying? Sleep. People in games are going to be toxic, right? It's just gonna happen. It's toxic natural. gamers. If you join a Call of Duty lobby, if you join Fortnite, Apex, any pretty much any game in the world, yeah, people are going to be toxic. Hell but yeah. what you do not do is mute every single person in your game by default and hide the voice setting in the pause menu so that most yeah they are also using ai to censor chat oh. you you guys probably heard right xbox did it first microsoft did it um uh, call of duty did it and then they bought call of duty so both of them are together gta is doing it playstation also had like a conspiracy a, a, a while ago where those suckers uh, where, where we heard that those suckers are listening to your Listening to your party chat. I mean, listen, I mean, as long as you, as soon as you have a smartphone, bro, you, you gave up your privacy. You have lost privacy after that, right? I, I guess we all understand, understand that, but yeah, it's one of those things, right? You're listening to my calls. Don't tell me that. Don't tell me that. When you tell me, that's when we have a problem. But it's like, when you don't know, you don't know. But when you know, then it's a problem. But it's uh, what I'm trying to say. I'm obviously against it. What I'm trying to say is that as soon as you get like uh, this one, it's over, bro. It's uh, It really is over. There's a. Uh, uh, this is why, like, you must... Uh, if you watch Money Heist, right? Like, why do you think the professor was using the flip-flop phone, right? He was constantly... Or he never had a... He never, ever, 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 ever had a real quote-unquote smartphone he was always on the flip-flop uh, flip phones for a reason though players in the game don't know that they are muted or have the server muted and they think every lobby is dead and nobody is talking that is what you do not do yes i'm aware uh -oh. the gta game chat was toxic but straight up basically turning it off really like yeah sure it's still there kind of but they basically turned it off yeah. because it pops up one time in the top left corner that your voice settings are disabled. You know, the funniest thing here is that, like, the last time I was actually playing, and this is a true story, by the way, right? True story, guys. The last time I was playing with my homies, I, and we were just having a chat, right? We were just having a discussion, and it's like, my homie was like, bro, like, don't say anything that will get us canceled. I'm like, bro, like, what? Yeah, I, I, was, I was losing my mind. He told, like, other one, uh, other one of the homie, and I was like, dog like we really got to the point uh, and obviously he was saying that in a sarcastic way we we're joking around and all that right bro don't say anything that will get us cancelled <laughs> and I'm like holy crap bro like this is actually insane so I wonder if you guys are talking with your homies you must have had like a conversation uh, like that too so yay we're really getting to the point man really from there the on point. it will never tell you this again so if you did not see that at any point which you have to assume a good majority of players probably didn't. They are playing GTA Online with no voice chat and don't even know it's a setting in the game. All because they don't want people to get their feelings hurt mm -hmm. on the internet. I'm not saying in this video that I am not excited for GTA 6. I am sure that GTA 6 will be a great game. However, I'm very skeptical and I cannot say that my excitement is too high due to all the censorship and all the things that they've been removing it feels like we're going backwards. Now, I, I hear what you're saying, homie. It feels like GTA is a Nintendo but... Switch game at this point. Like, it's for kids. Like, this is for children. This is not a daycare. This is a game that adults like to play when they get home from work. Like I said, I have no problem with female protagonists. My main ah! issue with this game is all the censorship and dumbing down for children who shouldn't even be on the game in the first place. Yeah, like, honestly, though, it's not... The, the female protagonist is not the issue, bro. Like, we love... The homies love Lara Croft, though. Yay! The homies love Lara Croft, though. You know, for a reason, man. Uh, I mean, strong characters, absolutely. It goes both ways. Strong male leads, strong female leads. But it's just that when you actually try to 
change the gender rules, that's when people have a problem. And when you change the narrative, when you, like, uh, force crap down people's throat, identity politics, LGTV bullcrap, uh, and all that, uh, all that crap, yeah, people surely have a problem. People don't necessarily have a problem with, like, strong female lead. It's just that nowadays you think or uh, people have a problem with strong female characters. That's not the case. People, whenever they see strong female characters, they're just worried that it's gonna be all that woke bullcrap that's gonna be shoved down their throat. That's what they're truly worried about. They're not worried about a female character, son. They're not worried about that, bruh. Like, I I'll tell you this for the fact that whenever this game drops, bro, like, watch how many people that are gonna be like, yo, where is Lucia, uh, Lucia OnlyFans, bruh? Like, Sickus would be talking about <laughs> Lucia's OnlyFans, though. The people that are making the argument that this game is going woke because there's a female character are a bunch of idiots. Not every yeah. game needs to be a super male Sigma Andrew Tate simulator. Yeah. Where you're All right, boys, uh, we're gonna end it right here, but I agree with this one. Guys, we had a ton of leaks for GTA 6 and we're hearing that the game is coming out early! Click on this video on the screen. On the left though, I have that UFO video on the second channel. So this is my second channel. Check it out and I'll see you right there.